Hello again, everybody. Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. We head to Ames, Iowa. Our very special guest in the Nike hot seat today is that man, that myth, that legend, that NCAA champ, Kevin Gatson is in the house. Kevin, how are you? I'm doing well, Scott. Scott Showtime, Cavs. That's it, baby. We, we do share that moniker of Showtime, and proudly so. K.J. Pelcher put a nice article into uh, the paper up in, at the Gazette about this event coming up called uh, The War at West Gym, the home of Northern Iowa Wrestling, and it is a benefit event indeed. You've got a bunch of high school kids, and then you've got a uh, what I call a feature bout between you and Blades Cabell, the former UNI heavyweight. How did this match come into being? Well, I think I reached out to Tony Hager probably um, back in um, November about conflict, or maybe it was October, about conflict in Carver, um, just because I think I had a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth from Olympic trials. And I <laughs> asked if there was an opportunity to wrestle wrestle in Carver again. Um, and he said there there wasn't at the time, but he said basically that the war at West Gym was a possibility and Blaze is from 40 minutes from Cedar Falls. Uh, I went to high school in Waterloo and right down the road. So we figured it would be a great opportunity to kind of wrestle in front of our our family and friends again. Now, it, it is a, a great opportunity for the fans, great opportunity for the families to get to see you guys wrestle again that close to home. I think it's a terrific opportunity for everybody. Uh, fans, I invite you to look this up on the Gazette uh, on their website. Uh, make sure you get the whole list of who's wrestling. There are some all-stars here and some all-star matchups. This one for me is uh, very interesting because I haven't seen you actually compete since when? the Was it the Olympic trials? Yeah, that sounds about right. So April, was it April 10th? Yeah. Well, tell yeah, the, tell our uh, our viewers what you've been doing. I know you're still pursuing your your uh, your graduate uh, uh, degree at, at Iowa State. What have what else have you been doing? Well, yeah. So basically, my role on the Iowa State wrestling staff is a graduate assistant, and that kind of puts me in like a director of operations type position. So I'm like an assistant to the director of operations. So I handle anything that the coaches need me to do from a operational standpoint with the program as well as finishing up school which um, graduation is in may um, which i'm kind of like uh, very excited about uh, <laughs> also uh just training um i took third at the dave schultz in january and then two weeks later um went to cuba for the Cerro palato the grandma cup Cerro palato and international tournament in Cuba and I took bronze there also so just trying to figure out this freestyle and make uh, make the proper gains that I need to to um, reach my intentions and goals of becoming a world and Olympic champion. We're talking with uh, our buddy Kyvin Gadsden we call him Showtime he'll be uh, wrestling at two and a quarter going to be uh i think there, there may be a little bit of an allowance there but uh, the weigh-ins are going to take place at the dan gable uh, uh wrestling uh, uh national wrestling hall of fame in waterloo and i believe that'll be that day is that right about noon that day on saturday yes okay yep so and your mom's yeah. going to be there right well i think so <laughs> well, i have to, i have to take my mom out to, to dinner she just had a birthday uh, <laughs> So I'm excited for that. Just to spend some time with my mom. I haven't been home in a while. So I get to see my mom, my brother, and my sister, and all my nieces and nephews. So I'm excited about that. Where will my you daughter, take her? We'll get to watch me wrestle for the first time. So Where, will, where will you take her to dinner? I'm not sure yet. My mom told me the place that um, I was planning on closed. So I have to find something else. What about the brown bottle? That might be... I went to the brown bottle and... In high school for prom, I think. That's good food, so I can just throw that out there. And they've got right. ice cream. <laughs> they do have ice cream. <laughs> Our guest, Kyvin Gadsden. Kyvin, um, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, some of the changes going on at Iowa State. 
uh, and in particular, those young men that are there on the team, everybody seems to be pretty positive about the uh, uh, the change in the uh, coaching staff. Uh, what what are your uh, feelings about the change in the coaching staff and and uh, Kevin Dresser? Well, I've talked with um, Coach Dresser a few times, and um, in my mind, the only thing I can do is be positive in situations like this. You know, life life happens to all of us, and um, one thing I want to do is basically just um, respect and treat Coach Dresser um, like I would want to be treated if, if if I was in his position and I was in his shoes. So that's what I'm going to do because that's what I would want for myself. You mentioned just mo- uh, moments ago that you'd wrestled at the Sierra Palato in, uh, in Cuba, and I wanted to go back and, and visit that because uh, taking third in a very tough tournament, very tough. Uh, is 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 uh, quite an accomplishment taking third. But when you uh, make plans to go on a trip like that, uh, you have to have uh, financial support in, able, in order to be able to do that. Uh, where did you draw the financial support to go? Where was where did that financial support come from? Well, my um, financial support comes from Sunkiss Kids, which is based out of Arizona at Arizona State with Kim and Art Martori. And they do a great job of um, looking after me and helping me, you know, attack my dreams and goals. And they just want to be a a great support system, which they have been. And so I'm very appreciative of Kim and Art. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted you to uh, to attack. Because, you know, it's very generous people like that that um, make it possible for you to do it. And they, they grow the sport. They build the sport, you know. And so they have a lot of World Olympic world olympic champs world medalists olympic medalists that have come through their ranks so i'm very appreciative of kim and art and the sunkiss kids family talking to uh showtime kyvin gadson in the nike hot seat today he'll be competing again thankfully i get to see him uh he'll be competing against blaze cabell all proceeds to benefit the panther wrestling club takes place saturday night six o'clock and uh it'll be the war at west gym i really like the title i think that's uh, t-shirt worthy do you like the title yeah i'm excited for it I- i've wrestled in west gym a few times and I plan to keep my um, undefeated record in West Gym intact. So um, I'm, I'm excited. It's I'm a, excited. If my a, phone dies, please forgive me. <laughs> I, we'll try. We're about ready to wrap it up. But I'm going to invite everybody to check it out online at IARussell.com. The War at West Gym, 24 of some of the best from across the state. And then, of course, this uh, outstanding opportunity to see that Iowa State NCAA champ, our guest today, Kyvin Gadsden, against former UNI heavyweight Blaze Cabell. I'm Scott Casper. Kyvin, thanks so much. Salute. Always, Scott. Thank you for having me. God bless you. That's Kyvin Gadsden, one of the good guys. Thanks for watching.